Henry Ford Museum. Bit of an overcast day. I figured it was a good day to go go inside and do something. Let's see where this let's see where this takes us. Got the welcome center here. Oh, we're here now. You've got all the way down there is the main, the main main entrance to the museum. We got our ticket here. Today's date and. I've been here now a couple of times. I'm currently not a a member of the museum. I should be though, with the amount of money I've spent buying tickets and whatnot. But I don't mind giving the extra money. Now, as I go through here, you can pause to read the full. you'd like. Got a whole big locomotive here. Goes all the way down. Like I said, I just showed you guys the map of where we're gonna be, or where we're at. We have to offer here some cool old luggage. You just don't realize how massive these things are until you're like right up next to it. Shoes are squeaky. December of 1926. Cool. This thing is just too cool. Got an old school bus here. Those of you in a in the trucking industry should know this company. And those of you in the trucking industry will know that that price nowadays would be awesome. Obviously, back in 1974, that was a bit of money. The work they put into this thing, if you really think about it, I know I've said it over and over again. It's just absolutely insane. Got a cool old Lotus. 
powered by a Ford. Ago and you can, you can go up there. This would be your not everyday plane type of plane, I guess, that you would see normally. Heard of Southwest Airlines, but here's here's Northwest Airlines. Let's zoom out here and get a full view of it. It's a Douglas DC-3. Got a pretty good overhead view. Got a old McDonald's sign over there. We'll go check out. There's that Northwest airplane. For those of you that are local to the Detroit area, got the old Detroit News Airplane, plane number two, WWJ. That is kind of cool. Old news plane. We're going to head back down. Let me come back up here in a few. here done up in the Ford. Some cars, planes, electric vehicles. You did a lot of cool, cool things. Got the cool old communications center. Definitely a cool old sign. Got some positive notes on here. store behind me and walk out and I see this.
This is actually really cool. That's like really awesome. The amount of detail that this artist put into this is absolutely crazy. And there it is. That's absolutely amazing. They were paid two and a half cents for every pair they made. That's crazy. How times have changed. So there's the there's the shoe shop I was just in. Telling you a little about it. 1890. Looking around, gandering. I see this. What looks to be like a chandelier. But it's made out of cooking utensils. It's kind of cool. Cool kitchen. Late 1700s. Here's one done for the late 1800s. Looking at this really does make you think, makes, makes me thankful for what we have and where we're at nowadays. Um, you know, it's something that I do think we take for granted, but. Yeah, this is a 1890s kitchen. Possibly from the Midwest, is what they're saying. And then a kitchen from the 1930s. Oscar Mayer, Wiener, Mobile, here. Give me that lesson. As now we're looking at different eras of music coming into modern electronics that we know and love. Cool seeing all these old A tracks records. Whose room looked like this at one point in their life? I think it's the coolest thing, actually. It's a very cool concept. Any questions? Let me know. Anything? 
Matt, I think we're eager to go to Eagle Pop to have lunch, so you were both going to head out when I bring you <laughs> There were only two prototypes made. This is a combination of parts and parts. So, it's not really a question that you quite had an answer to. Um, with the mesh paneling, it would have had the like green leather layer, the mesh, and then aluminum, so you would have stuck. Pretty cool. Bit informational. There is a look from the outside. Got some footage in there, didn't get too much. Families and stuff in there. I'm not didn't want to be all up in there, up in their space. We got a cool old Texaco here, built in here. Those of you know, I enjoy a small town and enjoy the old gas stations. for lunch. So it's just too cool. You got the old White Castle sign there. A &W, the McDonald sign. Pretty good view of the court here. Dearborn area and you want to experience the Henry Ford Museum I recommend it I really do like I said I do come quite a bit I am a local to the area I appreciate it thanks for tagging along and checking out the Henry Ford Museum with me.